Anderson County Sheriff's deputy is home tonight after months of battling COVID-19. The 7 News reporter Asia Wilson shows us now how his entire neighborhood and his law enforcement family welcomed him home in a very special way. A moment Anderson County Sheriff Deputy Jerry Brown didn't see coming Friday morning. I've been in the hospital since January the 2nd. And, and when I saw those guys, it, it, we just, I, I, I couldn't, I'm 56 years old, I started swallowing like a baby. With sirens and flashing blue lights, approximately 40 Anderson County Sheriff cars they escorted him from the Med Health Rehabilitation Hospital to his Williamston home after a long struggle with COVID-19. My primary care doctor, when I came around and knew who I was, I knew, I knew who my name was and started waking up from the induced coma from the trachotomy, told me, he said, boy, he said, you had your hand on death's doorknob, you just didn't turn the handle and walk through. Instead, after being hospitalized since January in a medically induced coma on a ventilator. <laughs> he's now celebrating new life. It's been an emotional roller coaster the whole time because they didn't think he was going to make it. With banners in hand and balloons in the air. Being a sheriff, but as a neighbor, everybody here loves him, and we're just really super excited to see that he beat this and he's able to come home today to his daughter and his wife. His friends, family and co-workers. Welcome home, brother. A lot of prayers for you, man. Please. Greeted him one by one. It was it's just it's overwhelming. It, it really it, it did. But his brothers and sisters he used to go to work with in the line of duty every day for more than 30 years <laughs> showed up for him after beating the biggest battle of his life. This will be one of the most memorable moments of my career. In Anderson County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. You know that made him feel good. And Deputy Brown says he still has a long road to recovery, still on oxy oxygen, paralyzed in part of his leg. And while he's still being treated, he hopes to one day get back to work.